It is a, a bit of a gear change of where I am now, a real contrast to the horses we saw an hour ago. Welcome to Base Camp, Scotland's team in the pony mounted games that we're going to be finding out a little bit more about. This is sort of the army of supporters, parents helping these teenagers to get ready to compete. So here we go over here. We've got Team Scotland. Hello, Team Scotland. Good morning. They've been very polite and have really not minded me just completely getting in the way. And we can meet two competitors now from Team Scotland and also from Team England. Bit of friendly rivalry. Team Wales are currently the reigning victors. They're not here, so we're going to try and take them on. Uh, this is Heidi. Very good morning to you and to Ollie as well. Ollie, I'll start with you. Mm -hmm. Just explain the pony mounted games. The way I've been told about it, it's a bit like kind of doing the sports day relay, like egg and spoon race, but on a pony. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much right. Um, there's five people in each team and four people in each race. And, and give me an idea of a race. Um, the most simple one is bending, which is like five poles lined up and you just weave in and out of them and then come back. So that, that doesn't sound very simple at all. Kind of what training do you do to be able to practice to do that? And, and introduce us to your pony as well. Uh, this is Gunner and he's 21 now. Um, and we train twice a week for two hours each time. So quite a bit of training, but not too much. Now, I've watched some videos of it. It looks very acrobatic. It involves you kind of hopping off, hopping back on again. Yeah, it's, it's quite uh, straining, especially on your legs. It's quite sore after a session. Well, good luck for later. You'll be going head to head against Heidi. Do you two, do you two know each other? Have you met before? No, I've never met him before. Okay, right. Well, we'll have to see how that goes. Heidi, tell me a little bit then. How did you decide to get into this? Because you didn't initially start with ponies, did you? No. Um, so I've been riding since I was six, but I started with showing. But I got a bit bored with that, so I decided to start Pony Club, and then that's where I really found my love for Mad Games. Okay, and explain to us, what's your favourite race and why? Um, my favourite race is probably the bottle race, because um, you go up, you put a bottle on a bin, and then you go up, turn around a bin, pick up a bottle, and then hand it over to the other person. You're doing that whilst riding your yeah. pony? Right, so it's quite complicated, and in your team there's a reserve member. I didn't think it potentially could have cause that many injuries but you've had one before yeah um so i have broken my arm before riding um that was from missing a vault and i just fell over and broke my arm then i got back up and finished the race so, so it hasn't fine. put you off no <laughs> today should be really exciting there are a little bit of hopes excitement that the queen could be here today that would be really exciting yeah that's really exciting i'm really looking forward to seeing her Let's hope that she arrives. Of course, we're in the grounds. It's the only time in the year when the private grounds then become open to the public. So there's the pony racing later and a whole host of other events and activities. The Queen actually has 41 of her own horses and ponies competing in the next four days. It's all part of this rich, exciting set of celebrations to, of course, celebrate her jubilee. I'll be here today to bring you some of the highlights. Okay.